Now, let's start off here in verse number one. Look down at your Bibles. The Bible says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. We're going to pause right here just with this very first verse. And I'm not going to go extremely in depth about this, but I just want to use some real simple math. And if you would uh, flip over to Matthew chapter 12, keep your place here, of course, in Matthew 28, we're going to come back to it. I want to just use some real simple math to just um, show you that what, what's known as Good Friday is just completely false. So what the teaching of Good Friday is that, you know, it's mainly propped up and promoted by the Catholic Church, but even the Reformed Church and other churches will observe Good Friday as the day which Jesus Christ was crucified and died on the cross. And the reason why people believe that is because the next day would be after Friday, it would be Saturday, which is known as the Sabbath. So when they see certain terms here about, oh, well, Jesus was killed before the Sabbath. So then after the Sabbath day on the first day of the week is when he rose again from the dead. And without really doing any uh, very much Bible reading at all, that's where people could come up with this doctrine. And at first glance, it sounds just fine to say, yeah, well, what's the problem with that? That's what I've been taught growing up my whole life. That's what people always said. You've got Ash Wednesday, you've got uh, Good Friday, and then you've got Resurrection Sunday, right? Well, as I said before, now, um, in verse number 1 of Matthew 28, notice the day hadn't even started yet. It began to dawn towards the first day of the week, which is Sunday. And again, we're using our calendar, so I'm not, we're not going to worry about any other calendar. It doesn't matter which calendar system. We know the days of the week as we know them, so I'm going to call them... You know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Just, just it's for our own frame of reference, it doesn't matter what name the days had. Okay. Sabbath means Saturday in general. I mean, it means seventh, really, but um, that would be the seventh day of the week. But the Bible talks about other days that are Sabbath days as well. So every week there was a Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. And that was supposed to be a day of rest where no work was done. However, there was also feasts and holy days that are prescribed in the Bible that are just like the Sabbath day in that nobody's supposed to be working and no one's supposed to be doing anything on those days as well, in addition to the other Sabbaths. And those are also known as Sabbath days. So just right off the bat, again, I'm not going to go through and prove everything tonight from Scripture just because we're covering all of Matthew 28. I'm not just focusing on this one topic. Um, I've done it in the past. You can search for sermons I've done in the past on this. But just using real simple math, starting off pointing out Sunday morning hasn't even really happened yet. I mean, it's dawning toward. It's just approaching. But Jesus Christ is already resurrected from the dead. He's already gone. The tomb is already empty, and um, you can get even further scriptures on that from the other, uh, from the other Gospels as well, that, that it's not even dawn yet, and the ladies are showing up to dress his body because they didn't feel like he was cared for properly before, before he died because it was so close to a Sabbath where they couldn't do any work anyways. Uh, but we, I do go back to Matthew chapter 12, Look at verse number 39. The Bible reads, But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given, un given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Verse 40, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Okay, Jesus Christ here is giving a very specific timeline of how long he's going to be dead for. Okay, without even going in depth on going to the heart of the earth and everything else that you could learn just from that. I'm not going to get into that doctrine tonight. But three days and three nights. Not three days, two nights. Right? It's three days and it's not three nights and two days. It's three days and three nights. So if we're going to use the Bible to understand when Jesus Christ was crucified or when he died, 
we can start with the first day of the week because we know that's when he had resurrected, right? So let's assume, just for sake of argument, that the resurrection happened in the very early hours, what we would know as Sunday morning, right? Before dawn. And let's say it was right as this, like just before dawn, because it, like just like this is saying here, let's just assume he had just resurrected like right when the ladies are showing up. Now, I think it was a little bit earlier than that still, but, but just for argument's sake, right? I mean, let's take this as far as we possibly can go, you know, as late as possible for the resurrection and say he started, it's still before the day, before the day breaks, right? So can you count Sunday day as being one of the days that Jesus was dead if he'd already risen before the day? No, you can't count that as a day. Right? Now we could count Saturday night, right? I think that's fair enough. Even if it wasn't a full night or whatever, but let's say, okay, Saturday night. Let's start with the nights then to go back. You've got Saturday night is night number one, because we're going backwards, right? Saturday day is day number one. Friday night is night number two. Or I'll do this. <laughs> do days, days over here and nights over here. Right? Friday night is night number two. Friday day, again, we're going backwards, is day number two. So if Jesus died on a Friday, you only have two days and two nights, max. I mean, just maximum. And if he died at even, well, there goes your Friday day. Now you're left with two nights in one day. Good Friday doesn't work at all in the context of Scripture. 